training was uh, based on their wish for a classical Jungian training in a short two-week period. What they did ask for also is some, uh, some analysis. So we had, we offered each one of them 10 hours of analysis and from what it looks like everybody is extremely interested and amazed that such a short analysis of 10 hours can still be so important. When they first said that they wanted to, to come, they said that they wanted two weeks of a classical Jungian training. And we think that whether we do it as a lecture or we do it as a seminar or as a fairy tale enactment, which is much more experiential, we are still working with the same things. We haven't given them, of course, a whole training in two weeks, but we have tried to give them a touch of how, a sense of how we work at ISAP. So the structure of these two weeks of the Mercury Center training um, began with a general um, lecture, a one-day lecture, on mm -hmm. the structure of the psyche. Then the second day, Krista Robinson was talking on the I Ching. And we did a group I Ching with a question that concerned all of us. And the question was, what do both the Chinese visitors as well as ISAP have to gain from this experience? What we can offer them, or what I hope that we can offer them, or provide for them, is a sense that there is a center in Zurich that is interested in what they are doing, trying to build bridges, and offering something really substantial as far as training is concerned. And since we have different training possibilities, you know, that we can, if there is a need on their side and the possibility on their side, they can come over and train on different levels. I leave many, many of my soul here. So um, I should say that uh, why I being in Zurich, in ISAP, is from a dream. Because of my dream. I always follow my dream. I'm looking for some a very classical, traditional Jungian psychology. Uh, not from the uh, you know, concept, conception construction, or not just by text by text. It's just from some living people and could well, help us or, or give us guidance to be learn it something or make our life alive. So they are living in this kind of psychology and also can guide us to be like their way. So that is what we are searching for. I think first of all is I hope that they connect with the playful mind, which to me is the same as the dreaming mind. It's that uh, mind that is a bit free from all the constraints of everyday life, so that the imagination can sort of lead the way. Um, uh, and so they laugh and they shed tears. They are connected directly to the underlying energies in these fairy tales. And then because the fairy tale is a model, it's an archetypal model, they can connect that energy in a helpful way to their own private lives. And that comes out in the improvised enactment. Right. 
So we call it fairy tale drama. Mm -hmm. right? And I first of all gave a lecture on uh, the significance of fairy tales, the psychological significance. First of all, that includes the supernatural, this mystery, dearest aspect of the psyche, that like in a helpful animal or a wise old woman or wise old man. So they get the deep kind of elements of the archetypal reality in the fairy tales. They get a sense there's something not just personal but transpersonal in the fairy tales. And then of course I say that most fairy tales reflect an initial situation of childhood, a strong father, a weak mother, or a weak father, or a strong mother. Fairy tales reflect the anxiety, the levels of anxiety, abandonment, for example, betrayal, scapegoating. Um, but also themes of innocence like Red Riding Hood or symbiosis, the three snake leaves, or a man who has to go and search for his own destiny, um, the spirit of Mercurius. What was your impression of this day? What did you get from it? This training process has been, has been, I would say, wonderful because it's, it's very different from what I have been learning in, back in China. We also have lots of the young year psychology trainings. But I think it, this training is, is much down to earth and we learn it in a very different way, maybe in the experiencing kind of way, especially when we was in the fairy tale uh, psychodrama because we need to act a role. Like you were stepping in the role playing maybe like a queen, I was playing a queen, <laughs> like a queen and there is a storyline and you, you, you feel the, the feelings of the role and how it's be acted out and we can feel what is really, um, what we talk about, the, type, uh, the archetype kind of energy can act, uh, activate it inside of your personality. For me, studying in ASAP is just like a uh, fate. Jung uh, got aging and uh, he understand himself. And uh, I think perhaps I uh, go to Zurich, go to ASAP, study here, and I can um, connect with Jung and uh, I can understand myself. Perhaps we can uh, get something back to China. What do you think the, 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 the theme of the dream is? I was asked to do a dream presentation with them, which is a kind of a mix between a, a seminar and a workshop, because I, I asked them to basically participate uh, and to be actively there. And I emphasize that what we're doing is not dream interpretation, but dream work. How do you work with dreams? What is the actual hands-on work? At the beginning, I asked them if they would like to send me dreams, their dreams, and we would uh, look at them and I would interview them and I would use a couple of their dreams. And they were very, very interested and motivated in having me work 
on their dreams, which is not very easy because it's quite intimate to look at your dreams in a group like that. But this was probably the best part of it, is that they began to work uh, with each other on their own dreams. Every night when you go to sleep, uh, there's a kind of inner camera which is taking uh, the pictures of, uh, of what we are experiencing on, on a completely different level. And these dreams are commenting on what people are doing in their conscious lives. But the perspective is quite different than the conscious perspective. So it's very, very helpful. And for me, it's when the self talks. I think the self talks through the dreams and whenever we're working with the dreams, basically we have this very, very unique opportunity to access the self. Another一个非常有意义的是，在我看来，荣格他有可能会有一个东方的灵魂。那作为我们东方的人来到荣格的故乡来学荣格，我觉得这里面好像也有某一种非常有意义的连接。And sometimes we we normally um saying maybe Yong has a uh Eastern uh um soul. Yeah, that's why we we have the connections of with him. And uh, that, that's the connections that can build up the bridge of Eastern and Western culture together. Yeah, that, that's the interesting thing of, about learning Yong. I think uh, maybe it's about the, the development of the modern society. And uh, you might know in China, uh, we, we're kind of losing our culture. And we're kind of uh, losing our roots of the culture. And uh, from by learning Yong psychology, we seem to going back to our roots. That's how incredible we can find a lot of the correspondence of Young's theory with our culture.